Previously on 987 Star, we had 11 contestants. They fought it out on air and now we are left with 10. Vanessa Ho, Lynette, Zach, Regine, Rachel, Gary, Clement, Yumiko, Angeline, Vanessa Lim. Who will move on to the finals? This is the 987 Star Roundtable Challenge. Okay, hi guys, congratulations on making it to the top 10. Now today, the challenge is going to be an interviewee, a mystery person that you don't know of yet. And we're going to do a classic roundtable interview, like how we do with Hollywood stars or singers or whatever. And I will randomly pick the first five people. Good luck, first five, please stand up. So now, they are going to interview you. Okay. Okay. You're going to be the center of attention and you have to give them a hard time. Oh, can oh, that's, that? I, I can. And you're going to have a good time because these are our top 10 finalists already okay. for this year, okay? So they're going to have to come mm. up with something at the top of their heads okay. when they see you in the room, okay? Let's hope they have heads. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so today you have seven minutes to interview Ross. Everyone knows what she does, who she is, right? Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, so. so I'm Gary. That's my Instagram uh, name. Uh, <laughs> I would like to ask you, yes. in your 12 years of experience, what would you say was your most memorable experience there? Okay, I'm so sorry to disappoint you, okay, but like the one show that I really, really hated doing had to do with tampons. Oh. And, yeah. and there was a large spin the tampon game as well. Okay, let's just move aside then from <laughs> the bad stuff. I follow you on Instagram, my name is Angeline and I know that you're a big um, food person, you're a big foodie. So what is one thing you would like to eat for the rest of your life? Laksa. Oh. With cockles. Extra? Oh. Extra. Extra, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming so far with all these experiences that you have. Because I understand that you lost your mom to cancer. Mm -hmm. So I really want to know what made you push through so much forward. I need to pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> I need to earn money. So Ross, you know in uh, these 12 years of being a DJ and stuff, right? Uh, what's something personal to you that keeps you pushing up? I think it's really the access, uh, I'll be blunt, just the access to the stars. Um, and you get opportunities to meet your favourite bands. And of course, I love music, so that's the only thing that can keep me going. Um, you have a lot of accessories. What is your favourite? My choker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any thing, any one in particular? Yeah, it's the one that looks like S and M. Oh, the the one that, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, you've been doing a lot of beauty endorsements. So, what is one beauty advice that you give to younger kids? You need to have great skin, and you've got to be comfortable in your own skin. Thanks, up. Okay. Thank you. Everybody. Wow, that was like quick fire. I was like, shit. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Okay. Yeah. Ask my questions, and your time starts now. What is one What's your name? Rachel. Oh, okay. <laughs> so one simple question. What is the biggest risk you've taken that you feel has paid off? The biggest risk that I've taken is to leave my dance career and to join radio that I knew nothing about 12 years ago. Uh, sorry. Yeah, hi, um, I'm Vanessa. Mm -hmm. So uh, recently I saw your Facebook live and you were somewhere off in another country and you were saying that there were tons of mosquitoes and like you also had the lack of data. Which one was the worst one for you? Like, I think lack of data. <laughs> <laughs> lack of data? Yeah. Because like, Mosquitoes? You can't talk to mosquitoes either, is it? That's right. Or would you prefer to? But talk what do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is it more daunting to have like less data than like having mosquitoes all over the yeah. place? Well, if you were in my situation, what would you do? See, with mosquitoes, I could have a mosquito <laughs> patch. But with lack of data, there's no way I can get around that, can I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm Clement, and all right. Um, in your career, right? Is there any one one opportunity that? You think that you have actually missed out on and you really regret doing so? No. No, not. No. Hi guys, um, I'm Lynette, um, from nowhere. <laughs> so basically, you say you usually work alone, so what's the secret to your success? Because many people aspire to be like you, mm -hmm. so do you have a tip on on how we can, you know, okay, be really, that way? Okay, really, to be honest, really just being yourself takes a lot of guts. Because not many people will want to show a lot of themselves. I read an article, uh, about your mother's letter to you uh, mm -hmm. that you found. After reading it, how has it changed you? 
okay, I pretty much thought that, you know, while people are alive, you should just tell them how you feel about those people and don't wait till you die. So that kind of changed my perspective because my mom could have told me all that when she was alive. Your time is up. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think one girl that really stood out for me was Regine, the one that's sitting here with the red hair. I don't know why, I just think she has a way with people, a very natural flow. Um, Lynette, pretty girl, <laughs> but she apologises way too much, I feel, and um, she lacks a little bit of confidence. Rachel faded into the background for me. Like, it's not so much that she was sitting at the back, you know, but she is very forgettable. Yeah. And then we have Vanessa, who asked you about mosquitoes and Wi-Fi. That was so what was, weird. What was that about? <laughs> I don't know, that is so weird. Clement strikes me as someone who, who belongs in an editorial team on a web magazine. Okay, so let's start with Gary. Oh. How do you feel? Well, dull. Definitely very dull. Vanessa is stunning. Like, you know, she's beautiful. I mean, she. I was looking at her the whole time, her sparkly green top and everything. But um, I guess she did okay. Like, you know, she was pretty she was pretty above average, I guess, but not quite stand out as that first girl. What's her name? Regine. Uh, Regine. Yeah. yeah. Then we actually had a Zach who's sitting there. He's actually one of the youngest in the competition. I can tell this guy got eaten up by the group. And then next to him was Yumiko. Um, I also feel like, you know, she reminds me of one of those journalists. Like magazines, you know, and stuff. Like you're you're sitting there to ask and to write a report, not to like actually present, you know. So um, in that aspect, I feel as a radio DJ, mm, not quite doesn't quite cut it for me. But this girl though, what's her name? Angeline. Angeline really stood out. Okay, but she got like ten questions. In I know of, that girl is fearless. Oh, yeah. So after we've seen group one and group two, mm -hmm. Regine and Angeline mm -hmm. are the strongest at the moment. Yes, at the moment. Okay, we'll see what goes down because some people are going home. We loved what you did with the prison cell, the hanging, everything. Which 30 Seconds to Mars song do you think fits the Joker? Ooh.